like the reason why I'm like real upset about the war overseas, like I know I actually know Israelis and like I know Palestinians and it's like I'm not even able to contact them uh, on Facebook or contact them on my phone anymore. Like some of them actually might be dead, you know. This is that bad. And um, I just see the war, I see it as uh, anti-Semitism. I see the war as Islamophobia. I see the war as sexist. I see the war as criminal. I see the war as is a way where they're putting people of color against one another because they are uh, Semitic people. The Jews and the Arabs, and the Africans, they're Semitic people. I'm actually seeing Africans in the Congo, they're shooting one another. They, should, uh, they shouldn't be shooting one another. And they're saying that they're shooting one another because uh, they don't even know why they're shooting one another. It's, it don't make no sense. And it's a lot of men and women and families is getting killed, getting the grunt under punishment. I think it's two men arguing about something, either arguing about land or arguing about a woman or arguing about money or arguing about drugs so they're just fighting one another in the congo and some are thinking about putting arabs in the congo i think it's already is arabs in the congo um and these arabs um there's some arabs that don't even like black people there's israelis that don't even like arabs you know it's arabs that don't like uh africans you know but see there are african they are arabs are african descent and a lot of people don't know it the true true arabs are black and the true hebrews are black the true is the people of israel are black the children of israel are black the true arabs the arabs are black but a lot of people don't know that and when you when when you see those the sphinx the sphinx those statues and stuff like that they had an african type of nose a lot of people don't know that they thinking that they thinking africa is a place where white people are they thinking that all these places are places where white people are. So if I say I, if I say Arab, they're gonna think it's, they think of a white man. If I tell you if I say Hebrew, they're gonna think of a white man. And now to the point they might even if I say African, some people might think of a white man because it's white people are in Africa. I met a person that they said they was African, but they are white because they migrated migrated there and took over that area. Some people took over that area. So they say they are where they live at. They're born there, you know. A lot of white people have a lot of black African statues, black African masses and black African Egyptian statues in their museums. They have a lot of black uh, uh, technology in their museums and they're saying it's theirs. They got a lot of black stuff. They got black technology, black stuff, black books, black stuff, the, the, uh, a lot of Egyptian things in their museums and they're seeing it's theirs and we gotta pay to see it. We gotta pay for water, we gotta pay for fruit. We gotta pay, we gotta go into stores and buy things that is natural, you know?